Jerry's YouTube 211 Real Talk Unfinished Projects with Michael. With Michael. Every day. Gosh, I'm a tool. Welcome back for another Real Talk. Just you and me, one on one. We talk about things we don't want to talk about with other people. I don't know why. But we're going to talk today about unfinished projects. Now, we did an artist problem a while back on how do you know when your art is done? A lot of the comments were, I don't have that issue. I got it wrong again. It was, I have so many unfinished projects. And I'm like, okay, how can I help people with this? How can I help people finish their projects? And I realize maybe I can't. That's right, I'm admitting defeat. Sometimes it's out of your control. Creativity is very strange and inspiration and I don't know, the zone, the mood, whatever you want to call it. When you're ready to go and you're in a project and you get pulled away from it or you can't complete it in one sitting and you go back to it, if you're not in that same or similar state of mind, you might really struggle with completing that project. And when it really becomes a problem, is when it starts taking up what I call your art real estate. It's as much as a physical thing as it is a mental thing. When something is in your way, in your vision, in your view, it is going to distract you from something else in a negative or positive way. I'm gonna tell you something that you might not wanna hear. Again, in some cases, you need to purge. Purging is important. Now, I get motion sick, so I pur <laughs> I've purged on five continents. It's okay to purge yourself of art that you have just not been feeling. And if it's been sitting there for a few weeks, the question is not how do you know when it's done, is will it ever be done? You wanna feel confident moving forward in your art. And certain things that you're just not gonna finish need to be put to rest. We're gonna have little, little art gravestones. Uncluttering your art area, I think, is a good thing too. Because I don't like clutter. I have that Monica closet, you know what I mean? But I don't tell anybody that. Don't put that in the video. Put it away, throw it away, give it away. I don't know, who, here's some half finished art. Look at me, I'm a hero. That way you can uh, settle all those people that are mooching off of you. Oh, I'm cross promoting all the videos here. It's nice, I don't know what this is. If you wanna hold on to that unfinished art, I want it out of sight. When you look at a piece too long, you become hyper-focused. Hyper-focused most likely on whatever's holding you back, what you don't like about it. And by putting something away, even temporarily, you get those fresh eyes, you get those first looks again to see, oh wait, there were so many wonderful things about it. Just find a way that you can organize it. What couldn't I finish in 2016? It's in this box, or it's in this shelf, or it's in this drawer, or it's in my pants, I don't know. Your unfinished art can hold you back if you let it. Purge or put away anything that you've let sit in there a little bit too long. It's become expired. So do your best to finish your art, do your best to finish this video, and do your best to finish me on Instagram at Mike Not Jerry. I'm not even gonna tell you what's on there. You just have to look and see. I'm always like, you know, oh, we're doing this, this, and that. Like, uh-uh, it's secret, secret time. I decided to not talk about vomit as much as I initially planned. I have so many things written down about vomiting. <laughs> it's like not even funny. Back in my drinking days, it was, it was like biblical. I mean, it was awesome. Oh, it was like project, uh, let's, I'm sorry, I said I wasn't going to talk about it, but here we are. I, I can't even keep a promise to myself, and that's a promise.